So if life is the th the best way to fight entropy, you can imagine that life permeates the entire universe. And then the question might change to like flavors of ice cream. What are the flavors of complexity that this process, this nature of life leads to? And there we might have bias about what complexity looks like, what beautiful complexity looks like. We'll look at humans that operate a certain physical scale and uh, time scale, and we think this is intelligence. We have another problem. We don't know what life is. We don't know what intelligence is, and we don't know what consciousness is, yeah. but we are trying to tackle the big question. <laughs> but uh, do we know what complexity is also? You don't know. No. I, I think that we have to be honest, and as a scientist, yeah. and I'm gonna step back and talk about intelligence. Uh, for me, a bacteria that has survived, like cyanobacteria, that has survived just like us, four billion years in one incarnation or another, and actually they are very similar to the one that they were 3.5 billion years ago, it has some intelligence about its environment. So for complexity, it might be that we need to take the world literally, which is an assemblage or additional capacity to gather, collect, store information. Maybe this is something like that, or actually use that information to do something with it. Um, but I do completely agree with you when you talk about flavor of ice cream. I think this is exactly it. And I have a basic education about what physics is doing right now. And I am look at quantum physics and what it says about the universe and about the connection, about an atom here and an atom here, a photon here and a photon there. And I am starting to put maybe wrongfully two and two together, but in my mind, and of course it's nothing until I can prove it, but in my mind, the universe is co connected everywhere in all different places. So this life connection is something that, as you said, permit the universe and the way to find life might be very different than to look for the origins of life. I think it's a good thing to go out there and look for the origin of life somewhere else because it's the manifestation of the nature of life that's all of a sudden becomes apparent, evident to our eye. But what I think would be our greatest achievement is that if we can find that process of life because at that point, in my mind, the universe all of a sudden is going to illuminate itself with actually its living force, what I can only call a living force. To me, this is what we are looking at, a universe that becomes more and more complex with time, more and more able to gather information, and interestingly enough, why to understand itself. So Sagan was right when he was telling, we are the universe trying to understand itself. And the more we go, the more the universe become alive, maybe intelligent, and maybe also conscious.